It's starting. Alright, this is the November 4th, 2011 meeting. Um, we're getting started. It's about 8 o'clock. I'm sorry. Um, the Helen's phone's going off. That's just not allowed on the salon floor, so. <laughs> Alright, so basically, you guys have the November 9th children's, okay. children's party. This is the soccer team that we hosted this year, and they put our banner up. We're going to get awarded a plaque. Um, it should be really cute. The girls, it should be pretty easy. They're going to do two things each, so nails, hair, and they're going to get the kit. So whatever they want to pick, they get two things and they get a couple hours to do it. They're going to eat. We're going to do chocolate facials. I bought, and I'm going to set up that day when I come in, at the table for them to do like activities in between just in case like somebody can't be here or you know, somebody's waiting around if they want to make a necklace or something like that, they can do that. Um, we also bought, yeah. So they have two things plus the chocolate facial, right? Well, if they want to do the chocolate facial, that's one of them. You know, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's, that's just exactly. Okay. It's just not. Well, it's like all of the heart, you know. So they, I bought. I, it's not even a chocolate facial. It's actually a cocoa butter facial because I couldn't find the chocolate facial anywhere. So I just tell them it's a chocolate facial. I don't think they're going to know any different as long as they don't see the part. We good to go. So no one brings the video out. Um, we're going to do, you know, just kind of like how it was last time. We're going to see how many blowing up. We'll make it real cute for them. It's not a birthday party. It's not going to be the whole thing. thing. It's just a team party for the yeah. soccer team. Yeah. Um, there's going to be 11 girls, so it would be very similar to last time. Or 10 girls or something like that. Uh, we do have activities for them to do. We'll probably order pizza or something like that. They said cheese. I'm paying for the whole thing. I will pay you guys each, um, like, an hourly rate or whatever, you know, whatever. She's not paying for it. So I'll just give you guys like each an hourly rate or something for that party. We'll each individually talk about that, which is going to go into what we're going to talk about a little bit later. Um, okay. That's for me. Don't forget to send the rent check. We got the rent paid. We're doing good. Uh, Money-wise, we're doing really well. Um, you know, I think that you guys, um, I think it's coming together. You know, we're at three months. We have some goals now that we can get together and talk about. Um, I am in the next couple weeks, those of you that are stylists, going to sit down with you and discuss what your goals are, um, where you want to go, what you want to do, what your um, options are at this point, um, and then figure out how we can get you to those goals, what we need to figure out, what we need to change. What I would really like to happen is those of you that, that have goals, and even those of you that work at the front desk, if you want to start selling more retail, those are your goals. You know, you get money from that if you sell retail. Okay, so if somebody walks in and says, you know, what can I buy, if you know about the product line, then it's going to be a lot easier. So like for you, Skyla, and everybody knows Skyla, Skyla started a couple weeks ago when we lost Val, which was such a sad experience for all of us, I know, especially Christina, um, it's such a devastating thing. Um, we got Skyla, and Skyla's doing really great, and we're going to train Skyla to um, do more, and I apologize because I feel bad that I haven't been able to spend more time with you, but I've been so busy, and just dealing with all this stuff, but you picked it up great, you're doing a great job, I think everybody really likes you, you are, no, Ashley does not like you, so, <laughs> I thought you didn't want me to tell her that, um, Ashley but, does. yeah, Ashley's a big fat liar, <laughs> she's not to be trusted, says Valerie, yeah, Valerie said, I'll <laughs> never trust her again, I'm like, really, guys, come on, so anyways, the, um, uh, you know, she's doing really good, of course, Phoebe is doing really well, as far as the front desk goes, um, all right, we talked about kids' party. Um, the computer. We're going to start at the front. We're going to work our way back here. It's going to be the easiest way for me to keep it organized. Computers for work, not play. I don't care if you get on there and do, you know, things every now and again, but it's, it's a work computer. And I don't want to get any viruses on there. I don't want to get any, you know, people hacking in and stuff. I understand that sometimes there's dull moments where you're not busy. If you ask me, I can probably find something for you to do. You know, you are getting paid hourly to work. It's a job. I know that it's fun and stuff, and we have a good time in here sometimes. But it is a work computer, and it's not there to, you know, play YouTube videos. Now, if you're on there and you're looking up something, or you want to, like, figure out how to do something, like, that's fine. Um, but it's not there to, you know, watch the latest video of, you know, whoever is famous musician right now. I don't really know. Okay? Um, I just don't want to end up having an issue with that. Um, the outside sign. I want to write something new on it every day. I want you guys to come up with some new ideas. So this is something I want you guys to do. Um, 
this is why I wanted you guys to have a notepad because this is one of the things that as a group and as a team, now that we're through, now there will be some months where we're going to have a deal or we're going to have a special. You know, this month we are leading towards a Groupon next week, and I'm going to get into that in a minute. So we've been doing kind of a Groupon week this week, and that's been my theme. But what I'd love to have is some input from you guys on what would be good for that, that sign. You know, maybe you want to do something on a day where you're not very busy and we can, you know, do a Christine today. You know, Christine's doing great day today for whatever. But come up with some different ideas for yourself, for your teammates, for the salon that we can put on that outdoor sign. Because believe it or not, you know, yeah, we can go days and months without having somebody do come in with that sign. But if we get one person in, like tonight, that's worth it, okay? That sign cost me 60 bucks. The lady paid, what, $100 today. There you go, paid for the sign. So, you know, if we think about it that way, then I think, um, you know, it, it actually does work. Um, and again, the more people see our names, the better. We have put, uh, we're currently we have um, going out, and I don't know how many of you know this or not, but we have ads in I Am Modern, Our Town Magazine, Spotlight, South Riding Stone Ridge, Brambleton, uh, Brambletonian, Lena Ron, Ashburn Village, um, um, Family Magazine, uh, I don't know, again, if you, what you guys know or not, but um, the salon got voted 2011, uh, new salon um, that people want to go to in 2000, or new, I'm getting them confused, by Family Magazine did a, did a, um, uh, sort of a survey, thank you, a long day and I just, so um, they did a survey and basically they, we, our salon came up as the highest rated salon for 2012. It's basically what it is. I don't know how they're writing it up, but they're doing a piece, they're paying us to do it, which is pretty insane, because usually if you want to be in those things, they pay, they, you have to pay them to do it. So this okay? is a survey of their So readers. this is a survey of their readers, they're all local women. Um, so, you know, Anne, um, and that's, that's another thing, I do know Anne's on, her, so she left. I don't think it's a real big loss, I was kind of, you know, biding my time for her to go. I don't think she fit in with our team. One person switched over to... Um, One person really? Who was it? Um, and our husband. Was it her client? It was Anne's client. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, that's cool. She, she asked specifically for Dan. It's Julie McDonald. Not her. It was Anne. It was oh, Anne. her name is Anne. This is Julie. Oh, right. Really? Who is that? Uh, the violet colored. Ah, oh, good, good, good. Okay, good. What did Anne say when she left? Um, she, I called her, she called me once, and I called her back, and she answered the phone, and I went back. So, but, but from talking to her, basically her story was, Michael, why am I not busy, getting busy? Why is Christina getting clients? Why is Danny getting clients? Why don't I get any clients? I'm like, well, you do get clients, but, you know, nobody's asking for you, and we do, basically, we're doing our books by referrals. You know, if somebody calls in, the girls know that they're supposed to be fair. She was upset that she didn't think Skyla and Bibi were fair. And I said, no, they know they're supposed to be fair with the books. It's not about that. It's that these girls are going out and they're advertising. They're promoting themselves. They're talking to people. They're doing the things that I've told you to do for three months that you still haven't done. And it works. You know, Christina, I know you don't work full time. Danny does. You're maybe not as busy, but I think you can get there. But this, this girl right here has worked her butt off. And it just goes to show you that just like what I said at the beginning three months ago, I'm not stupid. She's almost booked in three months. She's got people calling all the time. You know, I mean, to be 50% booked uh, this early on is pretty good. You know, and your book is looking really good too. If we can figure out why you keep having no shows, I'm not really sure what that's all about. I don't know if that's a Craigslist thing or not, but we'll figure it out. Um, and if you have any ideas, I know you were talking about doing group, um, um, uh, going to the churches and things like that. Anything that you need from me, just let me know. We'll get you set up. Um, we'll order stuff, you know, that's the kind of stuff that you guys at the front desk can do during the day. Okay, have a little bit of initiative. You can go, Michael, is there anything that I can get done for you? Because there's, right now, because I lost my manager, I lost Valerie, I lost Anne, um, I don't feel like it's a terrible loss. I think that we have now a good opportunity to bring somebody better in for us. There's a really cute guy that interviewed, and... Is um, he cute? Yeah, he's pretty cute. He looks cute on, on, the, on the computer, so... <laughs> um, he's Matthew, he's 30, he's a little older. He just graduated from Grand Web. He's very Still excited, huh? <laughs> Still yeah. Hey, you know, he's like, sitting with us. <laughs> I, I know, but our brand at this, at this business, and I'm telling you guys this because this is something I think is very important to know. You know, all of you guys know that this is not a one-time salon for me. This is something, you know, for me, this is my business. 
And I know that, you know, I can't expect you guys to all love it the way that I love it. But I want this to grow. I want to have a product line. I want you guys to head up the education department. I mean, I want this to be a huge thing. You know, those of you know, I don't know, you know, BB, you may not be here forever. You're going to be a doctor, okay? But maybe you can come in and do Botox for us or something. <laughs> but, but, you know, you're here right now, and, and I appreciate you being here, and I love that your presence here is, is fantastic. I really love you. You have a great personality. You're doing a great job. Somebody like Skyla, I don't know what your goals are in the future is, and so I want to know that. So um, you and I need to sit down and really discuss, you know, what your plans are for the future. And... Uh, I know, I'm talking about that. Get that on video. I feel weird. Um, it's like a head grown. I'm like, so anyways, but I want to talk to you about what your goals are because, you know, I mean, I, I don't, you know, again, I don't know what you want to do if you want to stay with me forever. I mean, I could see you being like, you know, an executive director of, you know, my product company someday or, you know, I see things like that. I mean, there's a future in this business for you. It's not just a reception job. And I want you to know that. You know, yes, right now you started as a receptionist, but, you know, you may be managing one of my salons someday. You may be managing this salon, you know. I mean, I, I want you to be, I, I really would like to grow you into being what Valerie was, which is the manager of the salon. And so if I'm not here, you know, if something needs to happen or somebody needs to be called and you can't get a hold of me, you go to her. You know, and the reason I say her instead of a stylist is because, let me tell you, you don't want to be a manager and a stylist is too much work. It's too hard. I know the front desk is hard, but if you're at the front desk and there's something going on, you can do the management stuff. You can make phone calls, you can send emails out, you can work on the marketing stuff. Um, <clears throat> something that I'm going to um, help you with uh, over the next couple weeks, and I, I want to, Tuesday actually might be a good day because you're going to be here and I'm not working, so I'm probably going to come in and help you with it. Uh, it's going through all the computer stuff, what's on the computer, what needs to be updated, what needs to be filed, um, the Excel spreadsheet to see who all the vendors are, because you need to know that. You've done a great job ordering so far, so that's been good. You're putting stuff in, you got that down. Uh, we need to do an order of wine. That goes on our to-do list as well as to figure out what we need to order wine-wise. Uh, maybe beer. I don't know if anybody's really having a beer or not. But, huh? Okay, cool. Um, but y'all can have some if you want. I don't care. We're, we're off work now. Um, so, you know, those kind of things I think we just need to work on. Now, uh, the other thing. So that's, that's all our advertising, marketing, you know, front desk stuff we're working on. Um, still on the front desk thing. Um, when you answer the phone, um, all right, we're talking about outfit signs. Um, sorry, I had a couple bunch of stuff. Oh, before and after pictures. I want to start being back before and after pictures. Yeah. Really quick, can we get different gloves? It's already broken me out. What gloves? The gloves that we just got. Are they really? I'm allergic to some type of what, glove. Are they late? Well, they're all latex. Oh, vinyl, vinyl, vinyl. These are that, these are latex. That's why. You're probably oh, latex. latex. Yep. Just use the vinyl ones, and I'll use the latex ones. Okay. And then I'll order some. Okay. Okay. I and mean, we have two more boxes down there, so we've got plenty. You know? Huh? What? You say latex? You're making fun of me, or? Oh. Yeah, I know. That's why I like her. Um. Okay. When you guys talk on the phone, these are just some points that I've noticed throughout the last couple weeks. Um, if somebody's on the phone, and I've said this before, and somebody's in front of you, acknowledge who's in front of you, just give me a second, or if you're almost done on the phone, but if you're on the phone, or if the phone's ringing and you're in front of somebody, put the person on hold. Always deal with the person in front of you first. I forgot about somebody for 12 minutes. I know, it's really hard, you just have to think about it, think about it, and people understand, you know, they understand, she was understanding, right? Yeah. So you get busy sometimes, things happen, it's no big deal. It is hard um, to do that. Eventually I'm going to get another computer up there so that we can help if something happens like that. Once we start getting a little busier and I can afford to get another computer up there, we'll put another computer up there. It's just that, you know, I didn't want to start that way because I didn't think we'd have enough people. Plus we're a six person salon, I don't know how many. You know, computers we really need. What I'd like to do is put that computer that you have here so we can put all our files and check out all our stuff here. But what I have to figure out is how to put Millennium on this computer and transfer all the files over. So that's something that maybe after the holidays uh, we can try to figure out. I think we'll probably be fine until then. Don't you guys agree? You know, as long as we print out our schedules and things get updated, if you and you schedule something during the day, you've got to let us know. Because if, if we're busy, 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 we're not paying attention, we see our, our stuff right there, you know, that you print out in the morning, you got to update that throughout the day. 
So if you change something, something cancels, or somebody schedules, you gotta update it, okay? You want me to print another one? No, you can just write it in or print it in, whatever you want to do. Write it in, print another one, doesn't really matter. Um, if you can write it in, it's probably better because you're not wasting paper, you know, say the truth. Um, all that stuff. Um, you are gonna schedule for January. Did you start any of that? We need to work on scheduling in January. Okay, yeah, you can do it. Yeah, you're gonna be here tomorrow, so that's good. Uh, if you don't get done next week, we need to put the schedules in for January, February, March because we're gonna start booking that out that far pretty soon. So we need to get that done. Um, let's see. Oh, this is something that I've been really passionate about for the front desk, and I don't know how we're gonna work it out, but I think it'll set us apart a little bit. And I know it's more for you guys to say on your end, but when you answer the phone, don't answer like this. Hi, my name's Babies, Michael and Song Gallery, I'm gonna help you. Well, you know, hi, my name's Skyla, what can I do for you? You know? I mean, you might as well be like, hey, bitch, what's up? <laughs> you know, you wanna be like, hey, you know, this is Skyla, well, thank you for calling Michael and Song Gallery, what can I do for you today? Um, try to upsell, you know, if somebody calls for a haircut, do you want color today? Can I get your conditioning treatment? You know, by the way, these are the deals that we're offering right now. Um, if you book an appointment in December, we'll get, I mean, whatever our deal is, say it. Groupon. The reason I said the Groupon thing, we are doing a Groupon special. It finally came out forever ago. We've been doing this forever. So from November 9th till November 11th, we have a Groupon deal going on. I'll print out the information. You'll have all the information. So if anybody calls and asks, you can tell them about it, okay? Basically, what you do is when you put it in the computer, there's a... Um, there's a class, I'll have you take the class tomorrow, and I'll have you take the class on Monday. Um, all you do is, I think it's at 3.30 um, every day, you can go online and take it. Um, they also have just a, um, like an audio version that you can take any time. So we might have to just do that one. But I can't imagine it's that hard. But it basically tells you how to do it and how to set it up and stuff. So we'll get that done next week, um, and tomorrow, or whatever. But we have the Groupon. Basically what it is is, I don't know how it's sitting in front of me, but I think the Groupon special is a keratin treatment and a haircut for $150 or $200 or something like that. Well, I'll give you the most details. There's that one, then there's a highlight and haircut one, and there's one other one. So there's three going out. So that's probably going to be a pretty good thing for you guys, yeah. What keratin is it? Um, the big one, the good one. Okay, so what if somebody comes hair down to their knees? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's about getting people in. It's about getting people in. It doesn't matter. Yeah. That's why. That's why when we say personalized, like when she called me and asked me what the deals were worth, I said, you know, I mean, it could be anything from fifty dollars to five hundred dollars. It depends on who the person is. Yeah. And she got all upset with me, and I'm like, well, why would I charge the same for you and you? You know? And she's like, oh, I've never had a salon say it to me like that. I'm like, yeah, because we're innovative. <laughs> and I know that's hard for you guys too, because when people call and ask. You know, sometimes they get like, well, what's the price? Well, there's not a price, you know? And that's something that I'm doing that's different that I know is a little bit bizarre, but, you know, it does make us stand out in a crowd. And what we're trying to do in the salon, and our, our, going back to our image and our brand, is we are a younger, fun, cool salon that is not infested with drugs, sex, and rock and roll. You know, I mean, we, we all have sex every now and again, so that's fine. But, you know, I don't want all that stuff in here. I want it to be a professional <laughs> salon. Some of us do. Not, not many of us right now, I don't think. Actually. <laughs> don't look at my direction. No, no, no. <laughs> don't look at mine either. Any of us? I don't think any of us are. Never mind. No sex. I don't know about drugs. I don't think anybody in here does drugs. But, uh, maybe we need some of right now. I'm going to make it better. Maybe that. That's what Valerie needed, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so angry with her, I'm sorry. She makes me so mad. Um, none of us did any work, by the way. Um, okay, the other thing when you're answering your phone. Sarcasm yeah. doesn't come in here. No, I know, I know. I you're you. above it. Go I'm ahead. above it, huh? Um, you know, if you, if when you're, when you're into the phone, something that I think would be really cute to say, and again, this is up to you guys, how you want to say it, what you want to say. You can use our slogan of trying to push our brand out, right? Thank you for calling my home in Salon Gallery. This is Skyla. We've been playing with hair since 1999. What can I do for you? You know, something like that. Something really cute and something that people will remember. And what did you say, you know? Oh, we've been playing with hair since 1999. You know, people call me Valerie, like, every day. One person a day calls me Valerie. No. And I don't know what to say, so I'm just like, I'm Skyla. Yeah, say Skyla. When you answer the phone, say your I name. I say my name. Yeah. No, they're like, oh, I'm they don't listen to me. But if you say, yeah. <laughs> 
But if you're clear about it, if you're like, you know, thank you for calling Michael Link's Salon Gallery. This is Skyla. How may I assist you today? You know, what can I do? For, you know, make it so that it's all about the client. That's what our goal is. If you look and read, you know, I don't know, you guys need to see our website. You need to know everything that's on the website. You need to know everything that's in the menu. You know, I just updated the website. Has anybody seen it? Okay. So you see the website. Look at the website. I know. You need to look at it. Because you need to know what's going on. If you don't know what's going on in so many calls, especially the front desk girls, you guys are the ones that people talk to and see yeah. mostly. Okay? You're the first person they see when they come in, the first person, the last person they see when you go out. You're the first person they talk to on the phone. That is the first line of defense and the last whatever it is calling leaving. I don't know. But it's an important role, you know what I mean? And so, yeah, so it's very important, and that's why I focus a lot of this on you guys, because what we do in here is, on, we, you know, is only as good as what you guys put out, okay? So have some fun with it. Be energetic with it. Have some fun. You know, <clears throat> if somebody calls to make an appointment and they're like, who am I around? You know, offer, offer dates, offer times. You know, what can I do for you? Do you need color done? Do your kids need a haircut? You know, um, Michael's busy, but can I get you in with Danielle? Can I get you in with Christina? You know, maybe if you just need a root touch up, maybe Ashley can do it for you. Let me ask Michael real quick. You know, let's get these people in. I don't want anybody on this phone hanging out the phone without an appointment. Because we can't afford it. I can't afford it. You can't afford it. You can't afford it. Okay? We can't afford it. People that call and go, oh, well, that just doesn't work for me. I'll call back. We don't like that. That doesn't work. Because guess what happens? They forget to call back. Okay? So, what's up, people? Mm. Sorry, I'm talking over here. Um, let's see. We have feathers. You know, what if we have? Oh, did you know that we have hair tinsel today? We're, it's two dollars, you know. What's hair tinsel? You know, what's hair feathers? Oh, my daughter's been talking about hair feathers. It reminds them of things. Okay, so that's going to make our salon stand out more than anything else. We want to be the top dog. We're doing well. Okay, not only did Family Magazine vote us the best salon in 2012 upcoming salon, but we got voted by Kevin Murphy in 2011 New Salon of the Year. That's pretty great. Um, I also want to take this time to recognize uh, Daniela. Um, as you know, in October we did a uh, retail contest, and Daniela won the retail contest. She did, you know, I can't, I gotta pull up the sheet, but her retail percentage was high. And this is why we're gonna have goals from now on. Okay, next week, the week after next, we're gonna find a time, all of us together, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, whenever we have time. I wanna sit down with you and we're gonna look over your goal, your sheets, where you're at, how much money you're making, see what goals we can set you at, because now we have some numbers to go off of. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> We want to, I want you to see what your retail sales are. I want to see, because you can make money that way. You know, and keep this in mind, and you know, this is from years and years of going to classes. People that buy product from you are three times as likely to stay your client than people that don't buy product from you. And the reason is it builds trust, okay? So every person that sits in your chair, you use a shampoo, you use a conditioner, you use a styling product, you use a finishing product, you use a hairspray, you use a wax, you use makeup, you use tinsel, you know, whatever you use, okay? You need to at least have one or two products in front of their face when they walk out of the door. Don't just walk to the front and, okay, see you later, I'm going back over here with my other client, okay? I'm busy all day long, you'll never see me do that, okay? I will always say goodbye to the client, I will always sit up front for a second, I don't go hide in the back, I stand up front and I say, hey, you know, what can I get you? Do you need shampoo? Do you need conditioner? It's part of your repertoire, okay? So, you know, Danny won the, the prize. I would love for you to win it next year. I want to take you to LA. I want you to do this kind of stuff, okay? It's what motivates you. It's what gets you, you know, in that mindset that you want to be in. You know, because let's face it, we have to work. You know, we might as well enjoy it. You know, we all have to work. We all have to make money. We all have to do this. Whether you choose to do this job or not, whatever. But we all have to work. This is a pretty great job. You can pick your hours. You can pick what time you want to work. That's the same thing. You can pick your days. You know, you can do what you want to do for the most part. You know, if you want to do color, you do color. If you want to do cuts, you do cuts. If you want to just do updos, you can just do updos. You're not going to make any money, but we can do that. You know, there's all kinds. You can specialize in braiding and, and, and specialize in doing um, cornrows or whatever you want to do. You know, make it yours. You know, and own it and, and push it and do as much as you can to get people excited about it. And retail is a huge way to do that because if you're selling retail, Again, they trust you. You know, if they get home and they love it, great. And guarantee, I guarantee everything in here. And if you guys have any questions about that, like, you know, um, Michael, you know, she, she doesn't like the product, fine, bring it back. I don't care. You know, I will guarantee everything in here. Now, if they bring it back with this much in it, I'm not going to take it back. But if they use this much and they don't like it, that's fine, bring it back, we'll use it for a product, okay? Um, as far as product use goes, now we're going to kind of go over here for a minute. 
If you guys need to pull a product from the shelf, just let me know. You can pull a product from the shelf, that's fine. I want to make sure that we have stuff to use. But let's also not forget what we've got up here. Every now and again, try to pick something up that you haven't used before, okay? I've been using gel mirror. I've never used gel in my life. I love it, I've sold a million of them. Okay, and now I'm running out, excuse me, running out of them all the time because I'm selling so many of them. So try something new. Cocktail your products. Use five, I mean, your goal this week for all of you, not you and you, because you can't really do it, but we're help. Um, try to use at least three products on each person, and that's not including shampoo and conditioner. Okay, two cocktail products, a finishing product. Uh, body products, a smoothing product, and finishing product. A hairspray, a body products, and something at the end for shine. I and mean, whatever you have to figure out, your goal is to do three clients, three of those every day, okay? Um, the thing that Anne could not grasp, and the thing that I think I want you guys to really work on is, and, and some of you are better than others, and I realize, I'm not trying to throw you under the bus here, Christina, that you're doing work and stuff in the back room. But, you know, I don't know why, I, I guess you were working on Skylar's nails, but I'm not sure why you let Danny take that client today. You weren't busy today. I had to go pick up my mom. Tonight, so at five? Go. It was at six. Tonight? Yeah. Were you gone at six? Yeah. Yeah, she was. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. Okay, well, that's fine. But just, you know, make sure that, you know, I just want to make sure that you're getting clients. It's, it's not about, you know, you leaving or whatever. I just want to make sure you're getting clients, too, and that you're making money. Yeah. You know, because I want you to make money. I want you to do well while you're here. But when you're here, I'm going to tell you right now, the reason this girl's doing good is she talks to every single one of my clients, and they're sending their friends into her. Okay, that's why she's getting more referrals than you are. And I'm not trying to throw you under the bus. You're a sweet girl. you got a great personality. Don't sit in the back all day. I know you're doing homework, but allow yourself every now and again to come out of that room. And if I have to bar that room shut, I will. I will. I will say, hey, 30 minutes in there and you're done. Because the only way you're going to make money is if you're out here. You're not making money in the back room. You're not making money in the bathroom. You're not making money folding towels or hanging out back there. Okay, just like Ann wasn't making money sitting here reading a magazine all day. I told her on um, hundreds of occasions to introduce herself to my clients. She never did. Okay, she does. Now look at the book. It was right. You know what I mean? I'm not stupid. I've done this before. I know what I'm talking about. If you want to make money and you want to do well, talk to my clients because they're going to like you. Oh my God, I have this one friend. I think she'd really like Christina on the center. And that's what happens. And then that sends, sends friends and friends. In. you got to work on the referral program. Talk about the loyalty point program. Talk about the referrals. I just got new referral cards. I'm going to pass them to you around for you guys to each take a couple. There's a lot more of these too. Um, here, just pass them around, take a few and pass them around. If you look at the side of the place to put your na somebody's name, write your client's name down for them and give it to them, okay, if you've got time. The product, um, <clears throat> the uh, prescription cards, they're not being utilized. I'm the only one in here I think that ever uses them. Do you guys ever use these? These prescription cards are really cool because people go, oh my god, that's so cool, I've never seen that before. It's a simple piece of paper, it's really not that difficult. But if a client leaves here without a product and they say, oh, I can't afford it today, you guys can do it too. You know, if I'm busy and I say, Skyla, you're, she's not going to get these products today, but write this down for her. You know, if somebody comes in, and, and I do need to get you some education on product knowledge because you missed a lot of that stuff and you don't really know, but you know what? We can help you. You know, I could walk you through it on Tuesday if Danny's not busy, if Christina's not busy. You know, have them show you what the products do and what they do. You know a little bit because you took some classes, you know. Um, but the, read the material on Kevin Murphy. There's tons of material down here. You work in a hair salon now, you need to know the information. Just like you do to bath, bed, bath, bath and body works. You have to know what's in those bottles, right? Same thing here, you need to know what's in the bottles. We are doing another finishing class. It's, oh God, when is it? I think it's not until January. But I'll, do, I'll, I'll put it on the calendar in the back. You notice that I put in the back, I put that thing up. If we need anything, and you remember it, put it on that board. Because I don't want to go out shopping on Wednesday and then get back here and y'all go, oh, we need this, we need this, we need this, okay? So write it on the board, and I'll, I'm going to try to remember to check it, because I'm, I'm not doing that real well either. So I'm going to try to remember to check it. But um, these things right here, they don't have our logo on them. They were free. I just ordered 500 of them for free. Okay, so we can get as many. That's why I was telling you to get some of these, you know, with like some deals on it, and pass them out to everybody. You know, they're free, you can pass them out to hundreds of people, hundreds of people. Put your name on it, put my name on it, and done with it. They don't have my logo, they have the salon on there. They have our address, and there's 10% off their first visit, visit for select stylists. Good thing about that is, if you have a really busy day, you don't want to do a 10% off coupon, or 
if you've got three people that have a 10% off coupon, you can go, oh, yeah, it's not really free. It's not free. You know what I mean? It keeps us from having to go a bunch of discount and stuff all the time. Speaking of discount and stuff all the time, we're getting rid of that in January. I'm not doing it anymore. I don't want to be at discounts long. We're doing all these discounts right now, discounts right now, but you guys are worth more than that. We're getting a hell of a reputation in the community for being a good salon. I've heard tons of great things. If you look at my Facebook page, if you look at our Yelp page, if you look at our uh, Twitter page, nothing but net, man. We are doing great. I mean, we have a hugely uh, successful reputation right now, and I want to keep it that way, okay? So having Anne gone is good because most of my complaints were all about her. I haven't really gotten a, a, any complaints from anybody else. Wait, let me try to turn the voice now on. What's the number? What's the number what? Oh, 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 I don't know. I don't know. It's already gone. Um, That's my boyfriend, right? Is it, is it James and Gerald? They're so retarded. Um, okay, so I'm gonna try and get this. So, the, uh, why don't you change the voice box too? Doesn't she say it wrong? Salon and gallery? No, it's me. It's a salon gallery. I said it. But, 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 yeah, but I would like to change. Like Does it? It's yeah. me. But I, unless I don't know, unless she changes, she may have changed. I hate it. I told her so many times. Can you not see it? Salon gallery. It's not salon and gallery. We're not a sal It's the salon is the gallery. That's the whole point of it. Like, I did it on purpose. And people don't realize that. They think it's salon and gallery because of the, the art stuff. But that's another thing you guys can mention at the front. Um, by the way, did you know that we sell local art by women? You know, I didn't, you know, if you say that, you know, man, thank you for calling. And by the way, did you know we sell local art by women? You know, did you know that, um, you know, we were voted number one by Family Magazine? I mean, those kind of things, just have fun with it. Write it down, do a little repertoire. I want to hear you guys do that during the day. I'm going to be listening for it, so you're going to be tested. Um, <clears throat> let's see, where was I? I don't know if I found that. You guys remember? Oh, um, these things. So the referral things, I have them write their name on it. Every time we get one of these, they'll get credit for that. So that helps with the loyalty point program. It helps them to remember the loyalty point program. Make sure everybody leaves with some of those. I'll put them in the front desk as well. The prescription cards are huge. The, um, if you guys want to change the engine machine, I'm fine with that. You know, if you guys want to make it something clever and cute, I'd be great with that. Um, also, the fact that we're not going to be here on uh, Sunday, the, uh, what is it, the, what is it, 13th, 14th or whatever? The 12th, 13th, and 14th, I'm going to be gone. Um, you're going to be working, you're working, you're working, no you're not, you're off those days. Um, we'll probably be closed on Monday since nobody you know, works anyway, since you're not working on Monday. Sunday we are working, because you work on Sunday, right? And that'll be it, I think, unless this guy starts, okay? Um, I'm excited about the guy. He went to Graham Webb, he seems really excited about it, you know, he seems like really pumped up and ready to join the team and like be active in education, he likes education, he says, I think he's gonna be great. I think he'll be a good ass. I really hope it works out. Did you just say you think he's gonna be a good ass? Good <laughs> ass. <laughs> That's what you heard. I heard. I heard what she heard. <laughs> I want to get yeah. another. Uh, I don't think so. I think he's straight. Oh, yeah. Great. Yeah. I think. But don't don't quote me on it. He might come and be like, "Hey, girl. He'll be here at nine in the morning. So look your best." It is that, uh, uh, yeah, tomorrow he's coming into it. That's why I had that put up. Um, yeah. Oh, gosh. All right, so if anyone wants to try to talk about that. Um, we are talking about the recipe cards. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what, that's what I was saying, the, the prescription cards. Make sure you guys use these, because I think it's a really cool thing. You know, and I, I was just finishing up. Put notes on how to blow dry. When you teach your client, we are teaching our clients how to blow dry. Right? And teaching Ashley. And teaching Ashley on the blow dry. Which we're going to go Monday morning. That's a good point. Good I'm glad you said that. This Monday morning, we're doing a um, blow dry class. So if you want to come, I think it'd be a really good class for you to be at. You guys are more than welcome to come as well if you want to be there. I don't know how much you know. You need to really know how to blow dry. I want to teach you guys how to shampoo, though. That's what I want to do. Would you like to learn how to shampoo? Mm -hmm. Would you like to learn that shampoo? Sure. The only reason is if there's a situation like on a Saturday where we may need you and you're not busy, it'd be a good thing for you to help and jump in a second. Mm -hmm. And it's always a good okay, thing. Okay, but I sprayed my ex-boss in the face by accident. 
<laughs> well, I don't care if you scream in your face. We'll be good to go. I'll tell you, you know how. You've done it before, yeah? Because you worked in a salon before. Did you do that? Oh, so you already know how. I sprayed her in the face. I mean, I guess I That's okay. It happened. No, it happened. It's, it's fine. It happened. Um, okay, uh, I'm going to go through this just kind of randomly here. Food and drinks in the back. If sodas and stuff in the back and the food in the back, it's fine. I don't care if you have a drink every now and then. But they are for the clients, and we're going through them an awful fast. If you have a drink, finish it before you open another one. That big can of um, s'mores that I got, or whatever, man, that was gone in like a day. Now I know that the clients did not eat all that crap. <laughs> okay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if you guys snack every now and again. The, you know what Ann was doing? She would pick out all the water that she would pick out all the water. Well, Ann was a big problem. She would drink all our water, all our stuff. She never did anything for herself. I am so glad she's gone. I'm telling you. She was dumb. She made I know that's a mean thing to say, but she's she dumb. I mean, I would literally tell her what to do. Like, straight eye and eye, you know, this is what you need to do to build your book. Okay, and then she'd come in and just sit down and read a magazine. I'm like, she argued with Danny for like 30 minutes, and I was very uncomfortable. What about what? About a paycheck. What's she arguing with you about? <laughs> she said that she doesn't have a mortgage to pay, so she shouldn't be getting some. I don't give shit. That's the dumbest thing. She tells me all the time that I should pay her more because she has a mortgage and Danny doesn't. Go out and get a mortgage, Danny. I mean, why not? That's what I'm I'm like, I've got way too much money. 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 I've got way too much money.
last spot is for you guys to eat. Have a break every now and again. Okay, it's not for five of you to hang out back there and chat and gossip. That's not what it's there for. If you have time to do that, you have time to be passing up cards, you have time to be working, you have time to be doing something other than that. Okay, when you're on my time and you're in here, you're supposed to be working. I don't care if you've got to pick up a broom and sweep, if you go out and pass out cards, talk to people, wipe your station down. Make sure your stations are your home. You know that, God, Jesus. That's your home. You know, make sure that your stations are cleaned down. This is something that I've been wiping down at night that I've noticed is like right here, through here. Make sure you clean all that up. You know, at night before you leave, just wipe it down. You know, it's real simple. It's not a hard thing to do. Make sure your tools are clean, your brushes are clean. Um, you don't want to be doing clients with dirty tools. Same thing at the front desk. Make sure the front desk is straight and clean. Computer monitors wipe down the front straight. You guys are fine with that. That's never usually a problem. I am looking at hiring a cleaning crew. Um, it's really expensive, so I'm, kind of, I'm looking around for some other places, but as soon as I have that, that'll help us. Does not mean, however, that you can go, oh, we got to clean the crew, we don't have to do anything anymore. Okay, it means that we need to maintain it throughout the day. Kind of like what we're doing now, it's just a little less work, um, you know, for me to have to scrub at night after you guys leave and stuff. And for you guys to do that, because I know you guys do that a lot during the day. Alright, we talked about the kids' parties. If you spill color on the carts or on the floor, what happens is, Michael steps in it, Michael walks around, Michael has little dots all over the floor. Okay, it looks messy, it looks gross. When you're done doing color, okay, I'm doing Danny's color, I'm done doing Danny's color, just look around. Just take a look, I do it every time I'm done. Make sure you look around. No, I'm not, I'm guilty of it too sometimes, but just, you know, be aware. You know, constantly be aware that there is color that can spill. You know, again, if we're going to have a high-end salon, we need to make it look nice and stay clean, okay? Uh, same thing with the backs of your chairs. Get that orange spray stuff, wipe the product off. If you wipe the product off the back of the chairs every day, it'll keep the chairs from yellowing, okay? The sign in the back is for inspiration. I put it up there. I know you've changed it a couple times. I want you guys to all be involved in that. If you have a quote or you hear a quote that you like, funny, I don't care if it's, you know, maybe not dirty, but a funny joke or something fun to inspire you. Whatever inspires you will inspire us. So anything you guys want to write up there, wipe it off with a rag and there's chalk underneath the microwave. So let's use that. Consultations. Anne's gone. This was mostly for her. You guys are doing great with your consultations. I'm very proud of you. Um, make sure that when that person is in their care, bless you, that you understand from top to bottom what you're doing. Same with you guys. When you're on the phone, consult with them. Make sure you understand. How long is their hair? You know, is this a first time client? Do you guys have long hair? Is it really thick? Do I need more time? Does your client, how long does your client usually take? That, all those little things are gonna make us look professional. I know that it takes longer, but those are little things that they're gonna go, man, my other client didn't do that, or my other stylist didn't do that. What my goal is, is to educate people outside of this business on what this business is. You know, we make people's days. You know, yeah, it's hair, and it doesn't seem important, but guess what it is? You know, sometimes it's the most important. I mean, I, Carolyn Roney, this, her favorite part of the week, her favorite part of her whole week is coming in and her hair blow dried with me. Out of everything else that she does, it's her favorite part of the week. And you ask her, she'll tell you a hundred times. Tells me about a million times every Friday. It's really great. They want to feel that. They are excited about it. People look forward to it. You know, make it an experience they won't forget. Think of Disney World. Think when you go to Disney World. From the time you, you know, you make that phone call and go in there. Thank you for calling Disney World. We're going to make your dreams come true. You know, that's what we're here to do. We're going to make their dreams come true. We're going to make them look beautiful, feel beautiful. You know, have this, this, this um, vibe when they walk out where they came in. They're like, oh, my hair sucks. And blah, blah, blah. When they walk out, we want them flipping their hair and happy and telling their friends everything. Because if they leave so-so, they're not going to tell anybody. But if they leave elated like this woman did a minute ago, She's, give me cards, give me whatever you've got, give me whatever, I love it, I had the greatest experience, my nails are great, can I give you feedback, I want to give you feedback. Ask for feedback, what, what can I do differently next time? You know, what worked for you? When you do your consultations, find out what worked for them, what didn't work for them. You know, what's my attitude like? How is the front desk? Ask your clients and tell me, because I want to make it work, okay? You're going to make mistakes sometimes, I understand that. There's going to be people that aren't going to like it sometimes, I understand that. There's people that don't like me sometimes, I don't know how, but it happens. <laughs> A lot of times. But I mean it happens. You know, there's gonna be times where people are you know, people are gonna be upset. I have gone home and cried my eyes out over things. Shit, I had a woman today come in and tell me she had orange hair. 
I was like, where? We were outside in the parking lot. I didn't, did you see any orange hair? Do you know that I didn't even do anything on her hair? I just <laughs> literally put the same color over top of the strands that were on there. There was no, nothing in there that I could cover. I couldn't find anything. I mean, people are nuts sometimes. So you just don't know, you know what I mean? Somebody said something. Yeah, it's and every time. If I said that there's like yeah. a pink streak in your hair, you'd be trying to find it and you'd believe that there's yeah. a pink streak. And that, that's a good point because that brings me to another orange. thing. Hey, orange the back way of the Yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, this piece looks a little brassy. Oh, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> and that's all they'll see for the rest of their life is brassy, brassy, brassy. And they'll come into the chair and they'll go, I don't see any brass. And then they pick this color. Hold on. I don't want to be any brass. I see any brass at all, but I want to be a really pretty golden blonde. <laughs> and I'm going, that's pretty brassy in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, but I want to be that color, but I don't want to be orange. Okay. <laughs> Let me pull out my magic wand. <laughs> and I mean, it's just ridiculous, you know, the things that people do. So you can't make everybody happy. It doesn't work that way. But we're going to try the best that we can. Other salons, they don't care. I want to care. I want people to see that we care. I think that we, can do, we have a good thing going here. I think we have a really good, great, great team. I think that we can go above and beyond. The salon is beautiful. People love the salon. They love you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know a few hairstylists from other places. Tell them to come in. And, yeah, I told them about this place. Uh -huh. Like one lady at dinner last night. Yep. She said she wants to come look at the place, but she doesn't know if she's going to leave her place. That's fine. Tell her to come in. You know what? I think that what I'm trying to do is once hair says, and it's starting to happen, because you'll see I've, I've interviewed a lot of hair the last couple of weeks, and they're not what I want. Okay? What I want, I, I'm looking for a specific thing. Sure, I could hire a bunch of hairdressers. Are you going to hire that one lady for the door today? What is her name? I, you know, I don't even know. I like her. I like Aurelia. I think she fits in, in in a sense. I'm looking for people that are very fashion forward, that understand the business, that want to be successful in the business, that want to work, that want to have goals and achieve things, and that want to grow with my business. I'm not, I don't want to people staying here that want to leave or that are doing this in the meantime. You know, I want people that are going to be committed to my Pulling Salon Gallery and what the future holds for us. That's what I want. And so if I have somebody in here that, that, that I can feel that from, like this guy, I feel it from him. You know, he's very excited about it. Now, he may come in and 30 days later be gone. You know, I thought Anne might be that person. She was so, you should have seen the interview I had with her. She was like you guys. She was so excited. and She was a totally different person when she started working. But you don't know that until they start working. You know, I could hire somebody and think they're going to be great and they end up being shit. You know, I mean, you just don't know. So have them call me, have them come by. Um, I will take applications from anybody. Because, at case in point, I had your application, Valerie quit, I called Skyla, and now we've got Skyla, and she's great. You know, so it works. Um, but yeah, have them come in. So everybody understands the idea of the consultation, and that it doesn't just start in the chair, it starts with you guys. You know, the front desk. The most important thing. Um, also, our, our look, since we're on that, that, in that topic, our look is very important. Okay? There's no excuse. Your hair needs to be done. You know, the, like your hair right now, let me see, it looks really cute. Hold on. This is unacceptable. This <sighs> is fine. I don't care if you have a little, you know, thing or whatever. I know you just put it up or whatever, but I don't want to see the knotted, twisty mess of hair. It doesn't look professional. Makeup is required. Your hair is required. I don't care if you just put a little bit of lipstick on. You're in the fashion industry. I mean, it looks like you're in the fashion industry. No sweatpants, no t-shirts, none. If you wear a t-shirt, fine, but dress it up with some cute, like, you know, high waisted I mean, I like high-waisted pants, nobody else does, but I think they're really hot, so. High-waisted pants, you know, um, cute slacks or something with a heel to make you look dressed up. Jewelry, whatever. If you wear, want to wear t-shirts and jeans, you better figure out a way to make it look professional, okay? I don't care how, you guys are pretty great about that. I've seen some slip-ups, I know you can't look like that every day but you are in the professional business. Your hair needs to be done, your makeup needs to be done, and you need to look like you're in the fashion business, okay? Now, on that same topic, it's about our clients. We don't want it to be about us. So yes, we're wild and we're crazy and we go over the top sometimes, but let's not go so over the top that it becomes, you know, like Halloween. Halloween's fine, we did it for Halloween, it was good. But we don't want to go so over the top where people are looking at us going, oh my God, I can see her hoochie. <laughs> you know, I don't want to see that. Yeah, people we were don't... really surprised walking in here. They kept asking me what was going on. What? When on Halloween when we were on Spice Girls, they were like, yeah. 
But that, yeah, that's different. I mean, that was a different thing. Yeah. But, you know, jeans and a t-shirt and tennis shoes don't fly with me. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. I don't think it looks professional. You know, I know Anna had brought this up at our last kind of little meeting. You know, what is professional? Professional, you know, I think you look beautiful. I think you look beautiful. I can't see what you're wearing, but your hair needs to be done. You know, Ashley, you, you are you're on and off. The sweatshirt thing, I know you're a sweatshirt jeans kind of girl. I know that. But you're in the fashion business. Look it up. Figure it out. Do what you can. You're doing better. Guess what? What? I want to have a wear tennis shoes with the day that I was a football player. <laughs> and you know how hard it is? Not I know. She, she, wore tennis, she, wore, she was a tennis shoes girl, and that's good. You, know, you look nice. And you have your smock on, and you're an assistant, so that's a little different. Um, you know, you look fine. Although you got color on you. No, no, that's not. Mm -mm. Yeah, so that orange stuff is pretty mm -hmm. All right. So, um, but just, you know, hair, makeup, shoes, whatever, we're in the fashion business. I think everybody in here kind of gets that, so we're good with that. Um, I have a sample compliments on my hair color. She did oh, no, your hair color looks beautiful. Me. She did a great job on it. It's beautiful. <laughs> um, is this okay? Like, is this what? okay? I would prefer it to be done, but it's not, I don't hate it. You know, I don't hate it. <laughs> As long as you've got your bow on, you're fine. You know, you look cute. So, like, yeah. I mean, it's, it's not my favorite. Ponytails aren't my favorite, but it, it's better than not. At least it looks finished. I'll be the you know though, I mean? it's like a freaking, like, sweatshot up there. Well, like, do you have a side ponytail or something? You've got a lot of hair. Put it on a real tight, smooth ponytail. You know, just don't make it messy. You know, like this looks messy. Put it in a tight smooth ponytail, or do a, a tighter bun. Do a really smooth bun. Don't Maybe make it messy. That one day. Because really it's pretty tight bun. Yeah. In that. A really tight, or beautiful bun is fine. Keep your bangs like really, really straight. Just contrast them. Yeah. Good. And in the morning, if one of the girls isn't busy, have them style it for you. Have them do something with it. You know, that's who they see first. You're yeah. the first door. And if they see you looking like a mess, and I just crawled out of bed, what can I do for you? Feet up on the counter, it doesn't work. You know, they can get that anywhere. They're not getting that here. Um, hold on, there was something. Oh. When someone buys something, don't go, oh my god, really? You're getting all that stuff? Did I do that? <laughs> Earlier today, when she bought it, when she Oh no, I didn't even mean it like that. I'm gonna okay. Like okay. Stuff. I didn't yeah. mean it like but that. But the way you said it was so good, she goes, Oh, you're getting all this stuff? <laughs> Don't make a big deal out of it. It's no big deal. Brushes, you did it one time, too. I know, I caught her doing it one time, too. But that's See, why I agree with that. Body works is good to the people like when I do that. I don't know. People are freaks there. They, they like when they do like when they bring, like, they bring huge yeah. ass bags of lotion. And I'm yeah. like, Oh my gosh, you have so much stuff. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, I mean, it's, 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 a little, yeah, it's a little different when they're coming in and they're spending $200 on their hair, yeah. and then they're getting product and they're a little like, do I do this, do I not do this, do I buy the product? You just ring it up and go, can I get you something else? You know, is that all for you today? Or something like that, you know? If you say, is this all for you today? Or, you know, did you need a hairspray? Did you need a bow? Did you need a bracelet? Whatever. You know, don't, but you're going to get this, you know, you really might want to try exactly, this. You know, exactly, exactly. Yeah, these go together, you know? Did you want the shampoo that goes with this? You know, if they're going to condition, you want the shampoo? Whatever. Um, but when somebody buys a lot of something, don't make a huge deal out of it. I had to catch Ashley on that one time. Um, she had a whole bunch of brushes, and I was like, you need all these brushes? Yeah, and I was like, shut up! I <laughs> think <laughs> twice. You know, they go, well, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't tell how much it's going to cost. Should I buy all these brushes? At least I would do that. I'd probably be like, oh yeah, you're right. I probably shouldn't get all these brushes. No, get them. Oh, you more brushes. All the brushes. Yeah, bring them all down. Um, we talked a little bit about Addison on the phone already. That was mostly just, you know, um, perky, perky, perky. Not overly perky, but perky, you know, and fun. And, um, oh. At some point this week, I don't care who does it, I might have Jane do it, but if anybody remembers to do this, we need to clean the vents in the ceilings. I don't know how we're going to get up there. I might have to bring a ladder or we might have to stand on a chair, but one of us, some of us have to stand on a chair. I don't think so either. I know, that's what I'm saying. A couple of us are going to have to work. I mean, I'll do it too. I'm off Tuesday, but I just, it's something that I want you guys to help me remember to do. Um, cleaning one time. Jane can work with one of our missions this morning. Schedule for January taco. If somebody comes in and they're not happy with something and they're complaining, bring it to me. If you can't deal with it, you know, don't try to go, oh, well, you know, it's okay. It's really fine. Don't try to talk to it. No, it's not black. What are you talking about? But it's clearly black, you know. Just, you know, now, if you have somebody that's 
crazy like my client today, and you're trying to figure out what the hell they want you to fix when there's nothing to fix, you know, it's fine to bring outside or whatever to understand what you're doing. But if you meant to take the person's hair blonde and you took them black, you know, fess up to it. There's no